Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world Just and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Oh, Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. <laughs> we took a quick trip back to the States while waiting on our rudder. It took a bit longer than expected, so we decided to visit family and friends. Now it was time to head back to beautiful Grenada to splash our girl and go cruise. It is nice and early. It is 8.18 in the morning. I am going to get my hair done. Woo, Grenada traffic's crazy. A lot of people don't get their hair done or their nails done and all that stuff while cruising. It is tough. I try to work it out so I can get my hair and my nails done if we're stopped for a while. The only issue I ever run into is if an island doesn't have that stuff available, you skip, you wait, whatever, no big deal. Uh, but in Grenada, the, I found this really, really good hairdresser, and since we've rented a car to kind of knock out the last little bit of our boat work, I made an appointment to make it easy to get there, although I could take a Grenada bus. But I do have a driver. He's right here. <laughs> and there's a Grenada bus or taxi that I could have taken if we didn't have the car. And I found a good hairdresser. I'll kind of just research on Google just like I would if I were back home and call and I'll walk in just to make sure she can work with my type of hair because island people tend to have different hair. And confirms and then you go. You go get your hair done. This will be the last time I get my hair done before leaving Grenada. Cruise, our hurricane season is ending and who knows when I'll get it done next, but as I go down the islands a couple months from now, I'll look around for hairdressers, call them, talk to them, and all that good stuff. So you can continue getting your hair done while cruising. Hey, all you men out there. I know you probably don't care about hair and nails, but if you want to take that hottie of yours cruising, this info might help you get her on board. And it's a really good way to get yourself in the community and kind of going through what all the other girls go through on the island that live here. So I get to immerse myself in the culture, talk to the island people that are doing my nails or my hair. And that's also another way that I've learned a lot about the events going on. So a lot of good comes out of this. A lot of good. And this guy enjoys me with blonde hair and pretty nails. That's true. <laughs> Gotta keep him attracted to me. Oh, no, no, that's <laughs> Joking. Oh, I'm also picking up one of my girlfriends to go with me, so that's pretty cool. I haven't done that in a long time. A couple years. A year. At the hair salon, getting her hair done. You ready? There she is. That's the look right there. Hot. Just got done at the hair salon. Successful experience, nice light and blonde. This is service, I'm telling you. you gotta get a husband when you sail. It works. Howdy. Hi. I wanna make out? What have you been doing? Yes, I do. I, I went and got some line. You did? For what? I got expensive freaking line, because that's what we had to get, but this is 65 feet of Dyneema, and that is as well, but this is for our dinghy hoist that we had to replace. This is about five dollars a foot. Oh my gosh, yeah. U.S. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive, but I mean it's the best stuff you're gonna get. It's all they had, and um, he gave me a 15% discount because he felt bad for me. Seriously? You looking tired? Yeah, I'm pretty worn out. We haven't launched yet. <laughs> I know. I think it's because I I know what we have to go through, and it's just wearing my mind out. No, it'll be all right. Hi, Reese. What are you playing? Judge him. Show me that sweet Mario brother. Do the transfer. Oh, bang. There it goes. Nice. We are at the boat and we've dropped off all of our luggage. We're on the boat, getting situated. They're having lunch. We have some papers to fill out and then we'll launch. Exciting. Back on the water where it's a little bit cooler. 
This is our new runner. We should really give her a name. She kind of circled the ro world coming from Argentina before she got to us, but she's here. They've slapped this beautiful paint on. I can't remember the name of it. It's something that starts with a P. Love it. And then uh, we're gonna get ready to hit the water. We did have a little kind of mishaps with tuning the rudder, but Jeremiah and I were able to eye it out and do it, which was awesome. While waiting to get splashed, Jeremiah noticed that the rudders weren't in alignment, which is a big deal. The marks to align the rudders were simply not there for the new rudder and had worn off the starboard rudder due to how long this job took. We need to get these things aligned. The new rudders are on, but we noticed that they were off center, so we're manually having to adjust them. Jeremiah is up there working, and I'm down here just kind of eyeballing it out. Right there. So I'm looking for it to be straight. Here, I'll show you. Jeremiah is up there manually adjusting the rudders, and I'm down here eyeing it out. Well, we got the rudders replaced, and the yard did it, and. Uh... They didn't put the Ackerman angle on the tiller, so we're trying to fix that. Get, it's like a 3.8 degree difference, so we're trying to put that in right now. So I go down here, try to match up that line visually, and then I get down on my knees, and I look underneath, and I'm trying to match up this to be flush back here. This wasn't easy. We asked advice from everyone, including the Antares factory, who did try to help, but aligning them is a tricky job. You basically have to eyeball it when it comes down to getting it just right. The cool thing is that it's easy to fine tune while in the water. They're both a little bit to outboard. Are they? I mean, a little bit that way. So, but I can correct that with turning the wheel. So I'm gonna turn the wheel a little bit. Come on over here. Like squat on like this. Well, you're gonna have to do this. So. Yeah. Squat down like this, and I want you to just back and forth under the prop. You see the the, the keel up there, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to just move your head back and forth with one eye open, and I want to I want you to make sure that that the rudder right in the middle. Okay. Okay. So that's what we did. We eyed it up and got it straight. Life on the heart is just that, a little hard at times. We have a little time left, so Jeremiah is checking all the systems before we splash. Towel. It's windy. Yeah. Last minute checks. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure they bled this, but it doesn't appear that they did. I don't want to. Oh, can you open up that valve? Yeah. I just bled the fuel. Um, it's pretty easy on here. It's easier than, well, I'll believe it when it starts. Okay. But you just take this little screw, loosen up the bolt, loosen up this little bolt and pump it a couple times, get the air out of it. Pump it. Sounds like a dance. All right. So when we start these, we're gonna be looking for leaks and stuff like that, you know. Yep. Um, I'm gonna do the other side. And then this job will be done. On to the next. What's your job? Just to look cute and play, you have the best job. First time I've ever had a problem with bugs on a boat. Leaving it on the hard. He's bleeding the uh, port side engine while I do this. I want to open this up to see what food I have before provisioning. And there's bugs. It's gross, take a look. They seem to like those crackers that look black. Oh my gosh, all the bugs are back there. It's so gross. All right, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, are you just, are you dying? I'm baking. I, I have the fan on me, but I think it's just pushing my sweat around at this point. <laughs> yeah. I know, it can be a little hot. I think it's still gonna be hot out there, but we'll have a breeze. Yeah. We're gonna go to an anchorage around the corner. Thank goodness. Yeah. Open up all the windows and let the cool breeze 
flow on my skin. Yeah. All right. You ready? No. I want to get naked and be hot. Yeah. They had to put heavy duty straps on for Calypso. She's kind of heavy. She's a little heavy, thick around the edges. She's fat, but P H A T fat. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> He's bummed. Excited. Hi. It's been about four months that we've been on the hard. What was supposed to be a week of minor repairs quickly turned into months of major repairs. But that's boat life. Watching your home float above the ground is a little nerve-wracking, but it's so cool to see her out of the water, especially looking as sexy as she does. It's time to get wet and start moving. Are you ready? We were. Until, stay tuned. Coming up on season eight of The Lazy Geckos. We've been married for, I don't know, you make a beautiful omelet, honey. Now I hear some type of motor. Eight to 12, twist per inch. Here's the air wing over here. And a cup of warm water. Uncomfortable, to be honest with you. There were drones flying above us. Um, people were getting irritated. We're looking at 10 to 12 days. My favorite beaches. I'm doing a lentil soup. It's a really big uh, area down there. We're partying on Sunday. The max wind for our whole passage is 21.3 knots. Came out to anchor so we can stage for our crossing. This is day one of our trip from Grenada back to the United States. We are freaking cooking. What's the speed right now? We were having trouble sleeping. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Some checks around the boat. John, we're here. He cut you to attach a beer to it. He'd be there for days. No, he did. He said six pack. Six pack. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week. <laughs>